Welcome to Mr. Predictor. We've got another busy, busy week ahead of us. So we'll crack on. We've got four games we're going to be predicting today. And we're going to start with the decisive third one day international between South Africa and New Zealand in Durban. Al, it's been a, an interesting series. Hasn't South Africa got off to a good start. The New Zealand hit back very impressively in Potterstrom. Your thoughts ahead of the decider? Well, what a great innings by Martin Guptill. Um, fantastic match-winning 100 there. And, yeah, great uh, momentum now for New Zealand to take it through to the next game, which I think they'll win. Good to see Tom Latham getting some runs as well. Got a, a, a solid run in the team, and he's uh, he's paying that back with some runs. Let's just have a look at the odds. South Africa 2-1 to one on favourites. Uh, New Zealand 8-5 to five against Al. You're going for a New Zealand win? Definitely. I'm actually going to go for a New Zealand win as well. I just think they were so good in that second game and a short series, quick turnaround. They'll carry the momentum in and uh, take off the series 2-1. Now, we've got the conclusion of the Women's Ashes this week. Three 2020 internationals between Australia women and England women. Australia lead the multi-format series 8-2. So any win or indeed a washout means that they will win the women's ashes. The odds for the first 2020 at Chelmsford: Australia 13 to 8 on, England 13 to 10 against. It's a sellout. What do you reckon? I mean, it's great to have a sellout at Chelmsford uh, for the T20 uh, women's ashes. Certainly, the first one. I think um, England could well come back and win win this uh, first game. So um, I'm putting my my pound that I've got left from last week um, on an England win. And that's all they've got to do, obviously. They've got to win all three games to level the series and therefore retain the Ashes. I'm going to go for an Australia win. They were very, very good against Ireland last week. I watched a little bit of those games and Meg Lanning, uh, Grace Harris coming into the team looking very, very good. So uh, I'm going to go with Australia to get off the mark and therefore win the women's Ashes. The well done to Australia's men for beating England at the Oval. Not quite enough to win the Ashes. But they now head to Belfast where they play a one-off one day international against Ireland and if we look at the odds here uh, Australia overwhelming favourites 12 to 1 on Ireland 13 to 2 Al I know you've uh, been to Ireland a few times and watched some cricket there certainly wonderful place to go wonderful hospitality and great cricket so looking forward to this one and it should be a cracker yeah I mean the odds are obviously Australia reigning world champions Ireland don't maybe play as much ODI cricket as they would like you're not going to get a lot back from 12 to 1 on but that's where my money would go what about you well, I, I don't know. Uh, against Ireland, anything can happen. The green mist can come down and uh, throw you a few uh, googlies. So um, I th I'm going to go for a, an Ireland win. Good stuff. So a home win there for Al. Ireland to beat Australia. What about the decisive third test in Colombo? This will be the first test for Sri Lanka since Kumar Sangakkara's retirement earlier this week. We wish him all the very best in his future, wherever, whichever direction he decides to take. But uh, odds for this one quite interesting, Al. The draw is the favourite, 11 to 8. We know there's, a, there's a quite a lot of bad weather around at the moment. India, 8 to 5. But Sri Lanka, home team, yes, obviously no, no Sengakara, 3 to 1 outsiders. I know for the first time for a while, I, I, I think that they're, they're outsiders uh, for a game at home. So um, obviously the bookies looking to, uh, to recoup some, some money off, uh, off the last couple of games. I'm going to go for a home win here. I'm going to take on that 3-1. to one. India haven't had a great record away from them. I just don't think they're going to quite be good enough to win two in a row. They've had a couple of injuries since that second test. So I'm going to go for Sri Lanka to win. What about you? No, I'm sticking with, with India. I think they played really well in the, in the second test match. And I think spin's going to be really important. And, and Ashwin's uh, bowling really well. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to put... The other pound that I saved from last week uh, on an India win. Well, it's going to be very competitive, as we hope most of these games are. So, Al, thank you very much for your insight, as ever. And uh, thank you very much for watching us here on Cricket World TV.